I love this country, I'm a patriotic person, but our government has failed us and our government needs to, needs to step up. Brett Eagleson was a teenager when his dad died inside the World Trade Center. At first, there was grief. His father didn't get to watch him grow up, get married, or become a dad himself. What more do these families need to give to our country? Then there was anger against the foreign government that Eagleson believes facilitated the terrorist attack and at his own government for covering it up. As family members, we've done everything our government's ever wanted us to do. The least they can now do for us is give us the truth. Eagleson believes that truth lies within a secret FBI investigation into the potential links between Saudi Arabia and September 11th. 15 of the 19 hijackers were Saudi. Two have come under particular scrutiny for their interactions with government officials. The FBI spent a decade working on that investigation, dubbed Operation Encore. Some of what it discovered is already public, but the final report was sealed and declared a state secret. Eagleson and thousands of other 9-11 families argue that document could be the linchpin in their sweeping lawsuit against Saudi Arabia. They're accusing the kingdom of providing money, cover, advice, contacts, even transportation to the hijackers in the United States as they made their final preparations for the attack. Jim Kreindler is the attorney leading the suit. There's never been a case in our history where the government tells murder victims you can't learn about the accomplices to murder because it's a state secret. In a statement released yesterday, the Saudi government said it welcomes the release of classified documents related to September 11th, but that any allegation that Saudi Arabia was complicit in the attacks is categorically false. It points to the 9-11 Commission's report and the findings of congressional intelligence committees that were released in 2016, both of which found no evidence of any ties. We all deserve answers. But the families aren't backing down, not when they've come so close so many times before. The bill on reconsideration is passed. Convincing Congress in 2016 to support critical legislation that paved the way for their lawsuit. The bill is passed. Even overriding a veto by President Obama. In 2019, a meeting between Eagleson and President Trump at the White House and a promise to make the documents public only for the Justice Department to block them shortly afterward. Now this year, an executive order signed by President Biden that could finally unlock the information they've been fighting for. We need a president that will take our sides. We are done uh, listening to lip service. We are done of the empty promises. After two decades of grief and anger, Eagleson is allowing himself a new emotion, hope. Help us bring closure. It's 20 years. There's no excuses anymore. The Justice Department will have to release any document it declassifies to the public over the next six months. That'll go a long way toward helping Eagleson and other 9-11 families heal. But, Shep, it's also just one step in the bigger lawsuit against Saudi Arabia. That could still take years to play out. Lon, what are the chances the families actually win this lawsuit? Yeah, well, this is the first major lawsuit of its kind. Just think about it. The families are suing a foreign ally over terrorist acts. So this case could set legal precedents, and the payout, if they win, could be massive, likely billions of dollars. But Eagleson told us that what he really wants is for Saudi Arabia to acknowledge its alleged role in the attack, which, of course, the kingdom flatly denies. So, Shep, there's been no discussion of settling this case, so there's still a long road ahead. Ilan, thanks.